In my last video I made a short demonstration on how you can color code users on Facebook so that you can prevent them from rejoining a group they have been previously kicked out from. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, the progress so far, <laughs> not made by me by the way. Um, after some feedback on the last solution uh, from uh, admins and moderators on Facebook, I decided to go further with this idea and see if I can improve it. So I posted on the Greasy Fork forums um, because this uh, community makes this uh, kind of scripts all the time and they are pretty good at it. And uh, surprisingly, the username Leon Castro decided to just create a whole script for me in just a few hours after I asked the question. And it's it works brilliantly. It, it does everything I need. So this is the link to uh, the script. I added this link in the video description below. And uh, I'm going to show you how this works. Um, first, you need the plugin or extension called Tamper Monkey. Uh, Tamper Monkey works for every browser you can think of, like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and so on. So after you install Tamper Monkey, you just go to the URL to the script. You click the Install the Script button. You click the Install button and then you can start using it. So I'm just going to reload the page just to be sure. Yes, so you should have a shield over here. And uh, if you click the shield, you will get um, a few options like uh, mark as blocked, mark as warned, download the list of um, people you have blocked or warned or upload. And uh, to demonstrate it, I'm going to mark uh, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg as uh, blocked. So I'm gon just going to right click on his name and copy the link address to his profile and then I'm going to click the shield I'm going to click the button for blocked I'm going to paste in the URL to his profile I'm just going to remove all this stuff I don't need it just going to need facebook.com slash suck I'm going to click the OK button and now he has this uh, little red symbol next to his name to indicate that he has been blocked and if I hover my mouse over this icon, it will display the date today, which is when I blocked him, and my username, which is Turbo Lego. And this is very useful because um, then you know which admin or moderator uh, blocked him and when. Uh, and you can also, for people you want to warn, like if I want to warn Randy Zuckerberg, and if your uh, group has a rule that if you have been warned for breaking any rules, you get a uh, one week suspension from the group or something. So if you click uh, the shield, click the warning button, paste in the URL to her profile. I'm just going to move all this stuff so I just end with Randy. And now it has this uh, icon for uh, warned and hit as the date and my username. And if this user has a one week suspension, um, if she tries to rejoin the group after a week, uh, you can uh, then uh, automatically check if uh, she has been out for uh, a week or if she has to wait a few more days. So yeah, pretty pretty good extension, pretty good script. It also supports um, database file upload and download. I'm gonna demonstrate how that works now. I have this uh, file of uh, all the users that has been blocked from uh, one of the groups I manage. And right now they are, um, they don't have any icons. And if I now reload the page to get the shield up here, there we go. I'm just going to click this shield. I'm going to click the upload button. I'm going to click the Facebook ban list. And now every of these users have a blocked symbol. Yes, it works pretty good. And if I hover the mouse over, uh, you can see the date. They were all uh, blocked. So yeah, if you are uh, one or several admins or moderators that all um, has to share among you who you have blocked or warned. This extension or script or whatever you're gonna call it is very useful because then you can share an updated file of uh, who you have blocked or warned so that uh, the process of um, uh, accepting um, people that want to uh, join your group becomes much easier.